Today is day two of our 31-day challenge to study all 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. And of course, today's focus is Proverbs 2. So if you would grab your Bible and follow along with me through this important chapter. Proverbs 2 explains wisdom's conditions. If you read through Proverbs 2, you might notice and even circle the three ifs in verses 1 through 4. Do you see them? It's if in verse 1 and if in verse 3 and then if in verse 4. And by definition, if is a conditional word. If you will receive wisdom, you must meet these conditions. Many conditions are listed in the early part of this chapter, but the first one I want to highlight is in verse 3. So first, voice it. If you want wisdom, you've got to voice your need for it. Do you see that in verse 3? The Bible says, If thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding. So you cry after knowledge and you use your voice to do that. Solomon is, Solomon is saying do it audibly. Do it out loud. Cry to God and say, God, I need your wisdom. And remember that it's James 1, 5 where the Bible says, If any of you lack wisdom... Let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. So if you voice it to God, Solomon is saying you'll receive it. But then secondly, value it. Notice the if in verse 4. Do you see the word silver and the word treasures? The text is saying if you want wisdom, you've got to value it. So if you voice it to God and he gives it to you, you must value it like you would silver and treasures. And beware of taking wisdom for granted. Value God's wisdom. Value it when you hear others communicating it. And value it when he gives it to you through them. Thirdly, the victory. If you voice it and you get it and then you value it, then, notice that word then in verse number five, you'll enjoy the victory that wisdom provides. Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. That's victory. He'll be your buckler, your shield. He'll preserve your way. That's the victory that wisdom provides. And then fourthly, notice the villains in the text. Wisdom will deliver you from the evil men, described in verses 12 through 15, and the strange woman in verses 16 through 19. Both the evil man and the strange woman are villains trying to get you to walk in the darkness of this world, verse 13. And ultimately, their paths lead to death. God's wisdom protects us from these evil villains. So by way of review, these are wisdom's conditions. If you voice your desire for wisdom to God, and if you value it when God gives it to you, then you'll enjoy the victory over evil villains in this life. This is what the Lord has taught me from Proverbs 2. Be sure to read Proverbs 2 for yourself, and then if you would, comment below and let me know what the Lord has taught you as you have read through this proverb. And be sure to check out Strength for Life's other videos. The next one, of course, will be about Proverbs 3.